What up? This your boy at Bentley Coop, DoorDash Diaries. And if you are trying to get the most out of your DoorDash experience, whether you just started to do this or whether you've been doing this, I need you to hit the like and subscribe button right now as I drop regular videos with tips and tricks to help you maximize on your DoorDash goals. In this video, I'm going to give you four ways that I think people really overlook that will help you to increase your income. And I'm starting right now. Number one, use the 15 minutes and start close. If you don't know by now, I say this as much as I possibly can. You can start your dash 15 minutes early. So if you are scheduled to start at 1030 in the morning, you can start as early as 1015. And if you are trying to maximize on your income, then you should use that 15 minutes to your advantage. Not only should you use that 15 minutes to your advantage, but once you get logged into your dash, you should quickly proceed to your favorite restaurant or that one restaurant that you know consistently produces orders for DoorDash. Number two. I call this the lottery pit. Start 30 minutes early. This rule is going to be for the people that work lunch during the week. The sweet spot for catering orders and group orders, from my personal experience, seems to be between 9 and 1030. So by starting at 1030, this will go ahead and put you in a position to go ahead and grab one of these group orders that has a high payout instead of having to wait for several different orders to amount to the same payout. Number three, don't be afraid to try a neighboring zone. When you log into the DoorDash app, check the promo page, see what other zones in your area are offering peak pay. And if you find yourself in a situation where your particular zone is slow, don't be afraid to maybe substitute your second busiest day or one of the days out of the week to try a different zone. Take your time, learn the area, see what restaurants are similar to the zone that you currently work and compare to see if this could potentially be an area that could pay you more. I will say the furthest distance that I'm really willing to drive is no more than a gallon of gas or maybe two. But that's it at the moment. In my mind, a gallon of gas will get you somewhere between 27 and 35 miles at roughly two and a half to three dollars per gallon. It will be a lot easier to make this up if you go somewhere and you have a loss and you only make twenty dollars total, as opposed to driving a hundred or a hundred and fifty miles out of the way and only making twenty-five or thirty dollars. So Try not to drive any further than maybe two gallons of gas away from your zone unless there's some type of event or there's something that's going on that you know is going to drive orders and is going to be a payoff. If changing zones is not really a thing, then maybe you end your dash and switch. If we're in a similar situation where you're in the middle of your dash, you know that it's supposed to be busy, but it is not. Consider ending your dash and looking around in your area to see if there are any bright red spots on the map. Go ahead into a dash now mode and explore the new area. See if it could potentially provide you with more money than your current area. And then we'll revert back to the rule that I was saying before, where we will substitute maybe your second busiest day or another day during the week to fully test out the new area. But please do not be afraid to simply end your dash and switch. Another thing that I will tell you not to be afraid of is to pause and move. If DoorDash sends you an order and you know that you are not going to accept that order, decline the order as quickly as possible. But if you are in a situation where you are repeatedly getting these orders back to back to back, consider letting the order time out and moving to another hotspot. The theory behind this is that this will put you further away from the hotspot that was generating the lower orders. And this should potentially refresh you and allow you to get new orders from the new area that are better. Hopefully. <laughs> the last tip that I have is going to be to add a Friday night or a Sunday night. The weekend is already the busiest time of the week, but it's something about that Friday night or that Sunday night that is always explosive. Friday night is always great because people have worked all week and while they're looking forward to the weekend right now, here, right now, all they really want to do is relax. And because of that, they're willing to order in. Conversely, Sunday night, all they've done all weekend is run around and while they are mentally preparing for the week to come, they really don't want to have to worry about food. And that is where we come in. So if you're looking to increase your income, I would definitely recommend adding a Friday night or a Sunday night or both. That's it. That's all I got for you. As usual, Bentley Coop, DoorDash Diaries, T3D. We are global. Let's go.